Dasha. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Yes. I'm good, uh, darling. Apparently. Oh, nice. No, Yay. Yeah, I put the camera, my other camera, so you can have a eye wide angle. Thank um, you. Hi, Carol. Hi, Caroline and Jess. Yay, Jess. Hello. I'm going to try and turn off my audio because Felix is doing um, some reading with my mum in the background, and otherwise, all you'll hear is him talking. So, yes, I normally just. I normally tend to mute people, but because of backgrounds kind of thing, and then send me a message. Hi, hi, Carter. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> hi Dasha. You can mute us all. Yeah, I'm gonna mute us all. Yeah. Nothing to see you yeah. all. Bye. Uh, anything? Unmute yourself and give me whatever you want to say. If you want a, uh, a question of, about something, yeah. Okay, mute, continue. Okay, cool. Um, so maybe find a block or, or a, a blanket. I'm using a blanket today. Um, and sit in a comfortable position. And um, so we will start maybe having a little, and actually, I'm going to unmute you all right now, because yesterday I was kind of struggling with, um, with thoughts. And they were keeping just jumping from one side to another and quite not finding a, a, a proper a, a frequency where I could just stay and tune in. So um, it reminded me a bit of... a. Uh, a radio device when you have a, a radio and it starts to jump into this white sound of <sighs> or when it jumps from one radio station to another and um, also and this came along with the day I was like you know observing how the the mind and the, the behavior was going to and how I could grow you know, associate with something that I could maybe bring some peace within, you know? So with the fact that so, so many things are happening right now and how we kind of have to have, you know, but how we are adapting in the, such a fast pace and how also that might bring some kind of frustration because I don't feel in control of what's going to happen or what I can plan or not plan. And, um, so I th um, I, on that quote, I could say that perhaps the yoga is, is a place where I can, you know, withdraw within and internalize with my body and kind of give, give me that power of that is my choice. And also to, to recognize the, the places where I'm more, more comfortable and less comfortable with and adapt to a, a, a situation that is more in equilibrium within your mind and body, you know? So yeah, I wanted to leave you girls with that thought and maybe, yeah, trying to use that in our practice today. So, um, yeah, let's start. Um, so maybe trying to close our eyes and, um, Bringing the hands uh, facing towards the sky and um, start to have a tuning in with your breath, really. Having a normal breath. Um, Um, observing the, the movement of the belly rising and the belly falls. Perhaps a, an extension of that belly rise with the chest and the fall.
Allow the shoulders to drop down away from the ears. But perhaps here we start to redirect the thought and the, and the sensation of where is the weight of your body distributed? Do you feel one sit bone heavier than the other or in more contact with the ground than the other? The side of the feet. And um, acknowledging that um, that uh, unbalance, perhaps in our in our structure, and allowing also to um, be content in how each body and each each of us has a specific structure. Perhaps a way of uh, or create space to improve it. Having a deep inhale here and a long exhale. On the next inhale, we're going to turn the palms of the hands into the knees. So grabbing into the front of the knees. And we're going to exhale, coming forward, leaning forward, exhale, leaning back, allowing the arms to extend and the body and the back of the body to curve and your, your neck kind of slightly tucks in into your chest. So inhale, open the chest, lifting the head slightly to the, towards the sky. Exhale, curving the back, allowing the arms to extend and the chin to, to tuck in. Inhale, exhale, and we do this a few times. Inhale, opening the chest, look up. Exhale, curving the back. Inhale, the last time, inhale, look up, open the chest, exhale, extending the arms. The next inhale, coming to center. We're gonna extend our arms to the side on the inhale, exhale, placing the hands onto our shoulders. We're gonna have a deep inhale here and exhale. On the next inhale, we're gonna to twist to the right and then exhale left. So inhale, exhale. The arms following the top, the top of your torso. So don't, yeah, don't, don't allow the, the arm to go further. Just keep that um, a small twist onto your body and com continue inhaling to the right and exhaling to the left, creating heat within allowing also to uh, have a, um, a cleanance onto the breath like by the exhalations, the fast exhalations, releasing the residues that might be deposited into your lungs. You can do this at your own pace. And slowly coming back to center, allowing also the breath to be softer. Releasing the hands, shake your arms. 
and we're gonna start to maybe bring both knees together by bringing also both feet and coming into a tabletop. And here in the tabletop, so the wrists will be stuck with your shoulders and the eyes of the body, uh, the, the elbows turn in. So it brings you a, um, a weight bearing uh, nicely to distribute it into your, into your wrists. And your knees is gonna be stuck with your hips. And this is, this is our cues that I will be tapping during the, the, um, the practice in, in other poses. So pressing with the feet against the, onto the, into the mat, the knees stuck with the hips and also at uh, this, uh, hips distant, distance apart. The neck will be long, kind of shooting out of the, uh, out to the outer side of your body and you're gonna kind of bring, uh, press with your hands against the mats and bringing this friction. <clears throat> And from here, we're gonna inhale, we're gonna lift the right leg and the left leg towards the sky. Yeah? And we stay here for a few breaths. And on the next exhale, we're gonna bring the knee and elbow close together, curving in the back. So we're gonna inhale, extend, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend, Exhale, knee to elbow. And on the next inhale, bringing the hand and the knee onto the ground. We're going to do the same on the other side. So keeping that friction against the mat, so push away the mat with your hands and with your knees. We're going to inhale, lifting the right, the, the right leg and the left knee and the left arm. <laughs> and stay here. You can flex the foot here, allowing the arm strength to have a, a, a lengthening there more accentuating lengthening and on the next exhale we're going to bring the knee to elbow inhale extend exhale knee to elbow inhale extend exhale knee to elbow one more inhale extend exhale knee to elbow inhale bringing the hand and the knee into the mat and here we're going to bring the toes back together and allowing the, the knees to kind of slightly go further away from each other and we're gonna drop into our heels into a child's pose. Allowing the chest to go towards the ground and the tailbone towards your heels. You can drop the head on the front head onto the mat or you might want to bring both both four, four arms in, uh, on the top of each other and drop your head there. So if you have the arms um, to each other, maybe stretch them now, shift the body forwards, tucking the toes behind you and lift the hips all the way towards the sky. Keep the knees bended into a downward facing dog. Allowing to walk through your heels, up and down. Keeping the, the, the shoulders away from your, from your ears. Then bringing the heels into a neutral, you're gonna kind of lean towards the left allowing the, the, the hips to kind of fold slightly to your right, to the left side, but allowing the, 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 the shoulder blades to keep in a straight line. Having a, a, a small stretch on the side body of your intercostal ribs. And then to the other side on the next exhale. And inhale, coming to center. Inhale. Maybe lengthening the, the left leg or keep it or keep it bended and we lift the right leg all the way to the sky. On the next exhale, we're going to bring the knee to the elbow from the outer side of the hip. So actually to the upper arm. And we're going to shift the weight back on the next exhale and lift the leg. Continue up. Inhale. Knee to upper arm, exhale, leg up, 
Inhale, knee to arm. Exhale, shift the weight back once more. Lift the leg. Exhale, knee to arm. On the next exhale, you place the foot, the right foot onto the mat. Inhale, come the, uh, the, the foot comes up. Exhale here. Inhale, knee to elbow on the left side. Inhale, exhale, um, leg up. Inhale, knee to elbow. Once more, shift the weight back. Exhale, inhale, knee to elbow. Once more. Exhale, the leg up comes up. Inhale, shift the leg forwards, knee to elbow. Exhale, the, count, the leg come up and drop back into the mat. Here we're going to start baby steps going towards our hands, allowing the feet to be slightly apart, one fist each distance, having the, having the arms, so uh, hand opposite to elbow and allow your head to drop here. Maybe with the knees bended, allowing also the, the back not to be straining or exercising any tension on the, on the lumbar back. So dropping here, maybe shake the head and the arms. And then slightly bend the knees, release the arms and from root to rise, slowly, vertebra by vertebra, come all the way to standing. I think we will shake here, as my housemate is looking at me approving. <laughs> you want to pass by? Yeah, you can. Um, so, Tuning in and bringing the both toes together. So both feet are together. You keep the heels slightly apart. Normally, the front of the, the feet are slightly larger. So we kind of give a little distance in our heels. So we kind of, they stuck a line. And we start with the Shtanga Namaskar. So we, in Tadasana, we have this energy field connected to the ground because your feet are grounded, your hands are pulling towards the ground. But also a connection with, with the sky, with the universe, if you want to say so, um, or think so. Um, so your head, your crown of the head will be growing tall, but also grounding, grounding into the floor. And from here, you're going to inhale, lifting the arms towards the sky. The palms can be a further, a further apart or together into a prayer pose. On the first one, I will give a lot of cues, so to keep that in mind to the next ones. And exhale, bring the hands to chest. <clears throat> Inhale, bend the knees into a half lift, placing the hands onto your, into your thighs, extend, it, extend your legs. On the next exhale, we're going to forward fold, maybe in bended knees, maybe, maybe extended knees, but we're folding from the hips. On the next inhale, we're going to place the hands onto the ground, into the mat. You can step the right foot to the back of the mat. Exhale. Place the knee onto the mat, the right knee. Inhale, come all the way up to Anjaniyasana. Here, the hips and the femur will be pulling into, into uh, one another. So your hip, your femur are well connected with your hip socket. Your crown of the head will be extending towards, towards the sky and your knee will be stuck with your, with your ankle, yeah? And your back, back um, leg, will be grounding towards the mat, you know, so you're making a, a pressure to, uh, against the mat. On the next exhale, we're going to place both hands on the front, framing the front foot, tucking the toes on the right and step backwards into a plank. Here in plank, we will have two options. You can have, you can do knees, chest and chin towards the, towards the ground on the exhale. Or you could do Chaturanga Dandasana, that is, is like a, a push-up, yeah? 
So here take your option. Knee suggestion, chin or Chaturanga Dandasana. Towards the ground on the exhale. Inhale, shift the body forward, opening the chest into a baby cobra or an upward facing dog. Here the glutes will be engaged. The feet will be pressing against the floor. On the next inhale, tuck the toes, shift the body back, exhale, lift the, the knees of the floor and come into a downward facing dog. Staying here for three breaths. You could lift the heels of the floor, allowing the hips to tilt towards the ground, allowing your spine to come into a straight line as far as possible and pressing, pressing the hands, the palm of the hands, the, the fingers are, you can lift the fingers to have that feeling of how your weight can easily distribute it on your hands. If you shift the weight into your fingers, then you will be straining your wrists and your forearms. arms. On the next inhale, we're gonna lift the right leg and exhale, step between the hands in the front of the mat. Inhale, lift, uh, drop the knee uh, and the foot onto the back of the mat. On the next inhale, we're going to bring the torso up, lifting the torso towards the sky and the hands. Keeping the, the knee stacked and the hips straight, maybe, maybe shifting slightly, dropping the right side of the hip towards the ground. On the next exhale, we're going to place both hands into the front of the mat, framing the front foot. Inhale, lift the knee off the ground, take the toes and step forwards into bringing both feet together. Inhale here into a half lift, so bringing the weight slightly to the ball of the, uh, to the, ball of the feet. And exhale, forward fold. Knees bended as option. Inhale, root to rise, pressing against the floor, circulating the hands around your body, hold the way towards the sky, exhale, hands to chest. So once more, or another two times, we're gonna do this with a few twists in the middle. So inhale, hands to, towards the sky, exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a half lift, the body, the weight shifts forwards. Exhale, hands on the mat, right foot, uh, right foot towards the, the back of the mat. Inhale, lift the body. And here we're gonna, on the next in inhale, we're gonna bring the hands, clapping behind our back. And on the next exhale, we're gonna opening the chest, slightly looking up, not allowing the, the, the neck to drop, but keeping that at line. On the next inhale, release the hands. Exhale, place both hands onto the mat, lift the knee. Inhale, step backwards with, with the left leg. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, knees, chest and chin towards the ground. Inhale, shift the body forwards into upward facing dog or cobra. Opening the chest, slightly looking up. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, bringing, coming into a downward facing dog. On the next inhale, we're gonna lift the right leg up and step between our hands. Inhale, drop the knee and the leg. Exhale here. Inhale, coming all the way up into a Jinasana. Clap the fingers uh, uh, behind the back. Inhale here, lengthening. Exhale, back bend, look up. Inhale, release. Exhale, framing the front, uh, front foot, lifting the, the left knee off the ground. And inhale, stepping forward into a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. 
Bringing the hands into a prayer pose, exhale, hands to the chest. Inhale, Ardhustanasana, mountain pose, hands into prayer, exhale, hands to, to the chest. Inhale into a half lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, place both hands onto the mat. The left foot now comes back, stepping back into, back into the mat. The left knee goes down, placing the, 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 um, the left foot onto the ground. Inhale, coming up into Anji Asana. And here we're going to inhale once, exhale, slightly twist to the left. Inhale once more. Twist even more, allowing the arms to come into a shoulder level. Inhale, coming to center. Both arms extending towards the sky. Exhale, placing both hands onto the mat, framing the front foot. Inhale, coming into a plank. Exhale, here, knees, chest, and chin, or Chaturanga Dandasana to baby cobra or to upward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, rolling over the toes, coming into a downward facing dog. Staying here for three breaths. Really pulling the hips towards the sky. Maybe bending the knees here or the heels. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, stepping forward, sink between our hands. Inhale, placing the knee and the, and, the, and the top of the foot up towards the ground. On the next inhale, coming up into Anjiyasana. Inhale here, lengthening, exhale, twist. We're gonna have another chance to inhale and twist. Inhale, and the next exhale, twist a little bit more, bringing the, air, the, the hands into the shoulder level. Inhale, come up, both hands towards the sky. Exhale, framing the front foot. <clears throat> Inhale, bringing the back, both foot towards the mat, half lift. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, root to rise, all the way up into Urdhastanasana, Uttanasana, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to chest. Here we're gonna drop our hands, bringing the hands to the side of your thighs. Closing your eyes. Having a connection with the, with the rhythm of the breath. Um, how the mind feels of, of changing of dimensions from ground to middle to up. And slowly opening your eyes. Inhale, bending the knees, swiping the fingers along the mat into a chair pose. Inhale, come up. Staying in a chair, holding the chair for a few breaths, activating your quads, maybe shifting the weight slightly towards the heels. The tailbone, tailbone, uh, tailbone comes down towards the ground and the shoulders also bringing the scapula into retraction, yeah? On the next exhale, we're gonna place both hands on, into a prayer and we're gonna twist, just a half twist, and we're gonna inhale here, slightly lengthening the back and the neck, and exhale, twisting a little bit more onto your right and placing the elbow on the, on the outer side of your thigh. In here, looking down, inhale, Exhale, looking up, lengthening the back, and twisting a little bit more towards the right. And here we're gonna inhale now, bringing coming into center chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a half lift, shifting slightly the body weight to the front. Exhale, placing both hands onto the mat. 
And here you can right left foot to the back of the mat or jump straight into plank. From plank we're going to do knees, chest and chin or Chaturanga Dandasana. On the exhale, inhale, shifting the body forwards to baby cobra or upward facing dog. <clears throat> on the next inhale, take the toes or roll over the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Keeping the feet at this hip distance apart, maybe rot inter uh, internal rotate the, the legs so you can't see your heels here. On the next inhale, we're going to lift our right leg up, curving the back on the exhaling step between our hands. And here we're going to drop the back heel onto the mat and leaving the, the, the right knee bended, inhale, coming into warrior one. Staying here for a few breaths. Keep the, the, the back foot, the outer back of your uh, left uh, foot pressing into the ground. Your, your, also your left knee will be engaged and activated. At the same time, you're rotating and shifting your hips to the front of the mat. The tailbone down. The front knee stuck with your, with your ankle. And the crown of the head will be shooting towards the sky. And on the next exhale, we're gonna place both hands onto the hips. And if you have a block nearby or a book, or a stall, a chair, also good. I, I've got the sofa. So we're gonna to start coming to a shorter stance. And we're gonna go for warrior three. Warrior three, so coming into shorter stance and start to shift the body to the front foot. Because we're gonna lift the back leg and pushing it away from our body. So lifting and pushing away allowing the front knee to be engaged the back to be straightened here you could also use, you can also use the, the blocks or or whatever is available to you to bring you that stability so bringing the hips aligned I, yeah if i take my hands with the hips aligned and on the next inhale so you don't stay here too long we're gonna to start to bring that the back feet closer to the mat, bending the knee, keep the balance on your right, and lifting the body and the knee at the same time. Here we're gonna grab our ankle with the left hand and place it on the inside of your thigh into a tree pose. You can bring the hands to the chest, bring the hands all the way to the sky, Allow your fixed point for you to look at. In Sanskrit, we'll call it Dristi. On the next exhale, placing both hands towards your step, the chest, releasing the foot of your thigh, the knee comes forward. And on the next exhale, we're gonna place the foot close together, bend our knees into a, a forward fold. Allowing, embracing the arms once again and allowing the, the back to lengthening here. On the next inhale, we place both hands onto the mat. Right foot, left foot comes back into, into a plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, knees, chest and chin towards the ground. Inhale, shift the body forwards into a upward, uh, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Inhale here, lift yourself up, roll over the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here, look forward. Right foot, left foot comes forward to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, swipe the fingers along the mat with knees bended, coming into a chair pose. 
On the next exhale, we're going to place both hands clasping together or into a prayer and slightly twist to the left. Inhale here, lengthening, exhale, slightly twist more, placing the elbow on the outer side of our left thigh. Look down. Inhale, lengthening more through the back. Exhale, engaging the abdominals, opening the chest and twist slightly further onto the left, looking up. Inhale, coming into a chair, neutral. Exhale, placing both hands onto the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot, left foot comes back into the mat into plank. Knees, chest and chin towards the ground. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. On the next inhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Exhale, lift the knees to downward facing dog. So from tabletop to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. On the next inhale, we're going to lift the left leg towards the sky. Exhale, cover the back, covering the back and step forward between our hands. The right heel, we're going to go towards the ground, planting the foot. Inhale, bringing the, the torso up into a warrior one. Shifting the hips to the front of the mat, grounding with the back foot, engaging the kneecaps. Staying here for a few minutes. A few breaths, gosh, a few minutes will die. The tailbone goes towards the ground and the back will be lengthening towards the sky. On the next exhale, placing both hands onto your thighs, slightly shortening the stance. Also a, a little break to your front leg. And on the next inhale, we're gonna to start to lift the right leg off the ground, extending the left. So extending the right, uh, lifting the right and extending the left straight. Mo moving your, the, the torso towards the ground. No. So allowing a 90 degrees with your hips and torso angle. Here you can use the block or whatever will bring you more stability to the pose. Keeping the knee engaged on the left side. On the next inhale, bend slightly both knees, start to shift the body and the leg towards in front of you, the torso high and tall. Exhale, maybe grab the ankle with your hand and place it onto the thigh, into a tree. Inhale, bringing the hands into a prayer. I have a few breaths here. You also can bring the hands all the way towards the sky. So on the next exhale, we're gonna release the foot of, the, of, our, of our thigh and inhale, placing both, both feet together, bending the knees, coming into a forward fold. Exhale. Inhale, slight, placing both hands onto the mat with the knees bended. Going to jump or right left foot back into the back of the mat. Inhale here, exhale, knees, chest and chin, or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, shift the body forwards into an upward facing dog or a baby cobra. On the next inhale, lifting the knees, coming into a tabletop, perhaps. Exhale, downward facing dog. Staying here for five breaths. Keep the, the, the shoulders away from the ears. Wonderful. On the next inhale, we're going to look up and exhale, jump or step forwards between our hands. 
Exhale, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a half lift, bending the knees, <clears throat> swiping the fingers along the mat. Exhale, inhale, coming all the way up into a chair pose. And inhale, so lengthening the legs, bringing the, the hands into your thighs, and have a little shake here. Allowing any body ache that might have surge or any tension that you might feel to just spread out. Bringing both, both feet together once more, tuning in with the ground, slightly closing the eyes, shooting the hands, the fingertips towards the ground, um, the shoulders away from the ears, and the crown of the head shooting towards the sky. Tune in with the breath. Slightly open the eyes. We're going to lift the right leg on the inhale and exhale, stepping back. And I'm going to change because if not, I will stay on my back towards you. So the right leg is a step back. We're going to kind of bring the, the left foot towards to the inside. So both feet are, both toes are pointing to each other. Yeah. Here we're going to engage the kneecaps. We're going to go for Prasarita Panda Gustasana. We're going to inhale here. Exhale, cross to the fingers behind your back or elbow to elbow. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, start folding through the hips, allowing the arms perhaps to shoot towards the sky. Feeling this, the, the pectoralis muscle to opening, the heart to open, creating space. Slightly shift the body towards the heels, inhale here. Exhale, forward fold, shifting the body weight towards the ball of the foot. And inhale here once more, maybe coming up slightly, allowing to create more space here. Exhale, fold, allowing yourself to surrender a little bit more towards the ground. On the next inhale, we're gonna tie the, the ties to each other, towards each other and lift our back off the ground. Keeping the, the hands clasped, you're gonna turn, slightly turn our left foot to the front of the mat. We're gonna bend the knee here, slightly a warrior one, once more, and we're gonna inhale, and we're gonna be humble to our warriors within, allowing yourself to fall or fold towards the ground. Allow the neck to also to drop in the head, Keep the back leg strong and firm into the ground. And inhale, coming all the way up, squeezing the thighs to, against each other and swap. So the left foot comes in and the right foot comes out, allowing the right knee to, to bend into a 90 degree angle. Inhale here, lengthening. Exhale, humble warrior. Forward fold, fold, folding in a way that your left shoulder will perhaps meet your left knee. The back leg strong, pressing to the outer foot of your, of your left foot. The, the, belly, the belly in. And then the next exhale, pressing it against the floor, extending the knee and releasing the hands. Have a good shake here. Jumping into, to bring your feet together and allow to release the, the energy that you created right now. From the front of the mat, we'll do one vinyasa so we can proceed to seated. Inhale, hands to rise towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up to a half lift. Exhale, place both hands onto the mat, 
uh, right, right or left foot towards the back of the mat or jump. Inhale here, exhale, Chaturanga Nandasana or knees, chest and chin. Inhale into an upward facing dog or baby cobra. On the next exhale, we're gonna roll over the toes and go straight away to downward facing dog. Inhale, look up, step forward. So now the right foot is gonna come close to the left hand and the opposite also coming into seated. From here, we're gonna bring feet together. We're gonna do boat pose. And we will, if you're comfortable, use a scarf or a belt. Oops. <laughs> and placing the, the belt around the foot, so if you sit it, we will place the, the belt on the, on the sole of the foot. The belt or the scarf, what, what you have handy. Who knows the full pose, then will not use the belt or, I, I like to, to exper experiment on both. So on the next inhale, we're gonna lift, slightly shifting the weight to, of, of, on our seat bone slightly back and lift our heels off the floor. And here we're going to maybe bring the, the feet slightly where you can see your toes just in front of your eyesight, keeping your knees bended or extending the knees and also pulling against your feet so you can open in your chest and your back will be coming straighter. Staying here for a while, for a while, for a few breaths. And we're gonna exhale, bending the knees, coming all the way down, not, not bringing the feet to the ground, but inhale, coming all the way up. And here we could maybe release slightly the, the, the experiment. Maybe I could release the, the, the belt and see how I can engage the quads enough to keep my legs straightened up. So creating a bit of strengthening here and in, in, in your lumbar back as well. On the next exhale, we're gonna drop, we're gonna drop all the way to the floor. Inhale, placing both feet sole to sole together, coming into a balakunasana, that is like we call it butterfly sometimes. We're gonna place it, we're gonna interlace the fingers and place it around our feet in the outer side of the foot. And we're gonna fly. Allowing the to the hips to open so the hip flexes can be warmer here. And on the next inhale, we're gonna stop flying and we're gonna place the elbows onto our calves. Okay? Inhale here, lengthening through, so shooting your head tall away from the body, but also allow the, the, the legs to drop down towards the earth. And the elbows are a good, a good aid on, on providing that. So, so inhale, lengthening, and exhale, fold forward. You may release the head, allowing also to the to the back of to the, the allowing your back to to lengthening, feeling a, a, a micro stretch on the, on the upper neck, on the upper back. And inhale here, coming, lengthening to more, lifting yourself slightly, and exhale, placing the elbows onto the calves, allowing to drop the legs to the side and forward fold, meeting the, the face going towards our big toes. <laughs> We're gonna inhale, slightly lift up, placing, uh, maybe clasping the toes with the, with the fingers. Uh, clasping both um, the toes with the index and middle finger. And we're gonna open slightly, bringing the feet away from each other. Yeah. 
allowing also to the elbows to opening to press against the, the legs allowing that opening to happen we're going to inhale here you also can use a block under your sit bone so we'll lift your 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 hips higher and you have a bigger range on your folding so inhale here and exhale allowing the body to drop keeping the elbows in the, on the inside of the lower leg inhale come up here maybe extending all the way to the side the legs don't forget if you need to use the block under the sit bones do so it, it is a nice and comfortable i would do it actually <laughs> As my back will be straightened, a lot of the, the, the weight will be shift away from, from the, my lumbar back. So inhale here with a wide legged. Inhale, you have the hands onto your knees. Inhale here and forward fold, allowing the hands to slide all the way down. Maybe the hands will be onto your uh, chins and maybe into your ankles, maybe behind on the sole of the foot opening the chest inhale here and exhale allowing to surrender towards the ground allowing the head to drop holding through your hips allowing the, the spine to be lengthening and straight And on the next inhale, maybe aiding with the hands onto your chins and walking all the way up. Bringing the, both knees, maybe bringing the hands under the knees and, and help your, your um, legs to be closer together. If you have a block, remove the block. Bringing both feet together with the knees bended, we're gonna drop one elbow and then the other. We're gonna to go to a bridge pose. So here, slowly come all the way down into a supine pose with the belly come up to, um, towards the sky. Perhaps we're gonna bring the, um, the heels closer to your sit bones as much as possible. Placing both hands, the palms of the hands will be towards the ground. And on the next inhale here, we're gonna start lifting our hips towards the sky and also the feet against the floor, pushing, pushing against the floor, the hips go towards the sky and allowing the chest to come towards our, to the chin. And here, we're gonna stay here for, the, for one or two breaths. The gluteals are engaged, the quads are, sh are shifting the weight towards, up to, uh, towards the sky or away from the, from the mat, you know? So these, shifting it, you're pressing against the mat. And we're gonna exhale here, coming slightly down towards the mat, not all the way through. And on the next inhale, pressing against the mat once more. On the next exhale, we're gonna drop the, slowly dropping the hips towards the ground. We're gonna to allow to extend the legs. On the next inhale, we're gonna bring the arms above the head here. <clears throat> inhale here and exhale, push with the, away from the body, the right leg and the, and the right arm allowing to have the side body to stretch. Inhale, center, exhale, the other side. So lengthening from the left side of your body, pulling away from the body, the, the leg and the arm. Keep breathing. The next inhale, coming to center. Have one or two breaths here. 
On the next inhale, we're going to bend the knees, bringing the hands towards our hips with the palms facing down or up. The, the palms facing up is a, is, a, is a small chest opener and from some people is, is rewarding. So but both knees onto them close together. Inhale, lift the right leg and the sole of the foot up. Now and here we're gonna bring the ankle. So we kind of bring the leg slightly over the, the left thigh and you place the ankle over, over the thigh, over the left one. You know? And here we're gonna maybe bring the right hand and place it onto the right knee and pushing it away from you, allowing to this opening to happen on the right side. Keeping that, keeping that uh, uh, distance from your knee to the, to, from your body, we're gonna inhale here and exhale, lifting the left foot off the ground and interlacing the hands behind the left thigh. Perhaps placing the elbow on the right elbow onto the right thigh, pushing, keep that pulling away happening. Flexing the left foot. And on the next exhale, perhaps bringing the left thigh towards the chest. The tailbone pressing against the floor. Staying here for a few breaths. And on the next exhale, we will release, bringing the, right, the, the left foot towards the ground, also disengaging the, the ankle of the thigh and bringing both feet closer to each other. On the next inhale, we're gonna lift the left, we're gonna do the same on the other side. So placing the ankle over the, the right thigh, allowing the left hand to pull away the knee away from the, <clears throat> from the from the body. Breathe here, inhale on the next exhale, lifting the right foot off the floor, clasping the fingers behind the thigh, the, the right thigh, and placing the elbow onto, the, onto your left leg. Inhale here on the next exhale, we're gonna bring the, the leg closer, the, the leg and the ankle closer to the chest. Allowing the gluteus to stretch. And on the next exhale, release. Inhale here, exhale, also bringing both feet close to each other, releasing the ankle of the thigh. You're gonna make in on the next inhale, bring the hands to a shoulder level so they are side to side in a straight line like hand, shoulder other hand we're going to play we're going to bring we're going to lift inhale lift both feet off the ground and exhale we're going to kind of press with the hands onto the floor and you're going to slightly shift the hips to the to the left side yeah inhale here and exhale allowing the knees <coughs> and hips to roll towards the right the knees perhaps come all the way to the ground if not, you could place a, a pillow or a block or, low, or, may, or more than one pillow until you, you find a comfortable, <clears throat> a comfortable position here. And on the next exhale, you might wanna maybe look over the left shoulder, but also the right is also um, okay. Um, here you can find how is, how you tune in better with um, with the relaxing poses just before Shavasana. So you may want to close your eyes or leave them open.
you may perhaps feel better if you extend the right leg and leave the left leg bended. The next inhale, we're going to press with the hands up towards the ground, making some strength and bringing the, the knees to neutral next to the chest. We're going to inhale, press against, to the, against the floor, and we're going to slightly shift the hips towards the right. Yeah. So it creates a diagonal, so when you, got, when you rotate to the left, your spine is in a straight line instead of with a twist and diagonal kind of <clears throat> design. So inhale here, exhale, dropping the legs and rotating the, the, the hips towards the left side. Inhale here once and exhale, perhaps looking over the left, the right shoulder towards the right hand. The next inhale, pressing with your hands towards the ground, lifting your knees off the floor, coming into neutral. On the next exhale, we're gonna <clears throat> bring the hands around the, the hands and the arms around the, around the legs, giving a big hug. Keeping pressing the tailbone towards the ground. Maybe bringing the, the head closer to your knees. And then the next inhale, we bring the head towards the ground, allowing one leg to extend, and then the other one. Bringing the hands slightly away from, from the body into Shavasana, so the chin slightly tuck in, allowing the, the weight of your body to be supported by the ground. The heels perhaps slightly away from each other as well. Allowing also the feet to drop to the side. Uh, here maybe closing your eyes or in a soft gaze. Is, your, is of your choice. You wanna to start to inhale and exhale with awareness of the movement, of the sensation or of the rhythm of your breath. Allowing the exhalations to bring a relaxation to each part of your body. Shifting the, the respiration to long inhales and deep exhales. Allowing the exhale to able you to release of any tension. The 
thoughts to melt. An invitation to allow ourselves to perhaps not to have to think about, not to have to think about even, not about what, but just not to think. Have a deep inhale here and exhale, sigh. Uh, once more, inhale and exhale. The next inhale, bring the arms slowly away from the side of your hips, towards the top of your head, above your head. The heels come slide together, bringing some movement into your wrists, into your ankles, maybe have some rotation here, moving the fingers, moving the toes, bringing the head, shaking side to side. On the next inhale, maybe bend the right, <coughs> the left, um, the left leg, and shift your body to the right side, on the right side, on the side of your body, allowing the left hand to be dropped on the front of the chest, and the right arm as a pillow. And on the next inhale, pressing the other floor against, with your hand against the floor shifting yourself up into a seated position perhaps keeping the eyes closed on the soft gaze or open placing both hands onto the knees having a moment here for the feeling of waking up i guess shavasana can be a a relaxing pose and also a difficult one to keep still with. And on the next inhale, we're going to circulate the arms, bringing the arms, the hands above the head. Have a deep inhale here, exhale, bringing the hands to the chest, bowing to yourself. And perhaps to bring that contentment with with how we function and how the world is function, but never giving in, with letting go, but not giving in. Namaste, open your eyes, have a good day. Oh, he you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, if they give me a give me a stack or something. A lot of backgrounds. Bye. 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 Bye.